talking about ancient models, here's one that doesn't seem to have stood the ravages of time too well. Apologies if you've got one just like it, but with all due respect, it is a little battered. Mind you, 1931, when this was probably the hottest thing on four wheels, is a long time ago. And there aren't many cars today you can buy for a tenner or so. Even so, with a snippet like that, you wouldn't expect this sort of thing to happen. Some people do this the way others light their cigars with five pound notes. But we can assure you that these chaps couldn't be more level-headed. In fact, they're carrying out a do-it-yourself scheme for making the proverbial silk purse from the sow's ear, transforming a tiny old Austin 7 into a sleek and powerful sports car in easy stages. To save this preliminary bother, it's possible sometimes to buy just the engine and chassis for as little as 50 bob. The time this transformation takes depends obviously on the number of enthusiasts you can get to help and what time you have to spare. In other words, it can be done in a week or it can take three months. On this model, the old chassis was cleaned and modifications carried out including lowered suspension front and rear, raked steering column with wedge or universal joint and wheels two inches lower. After this preparation, and again it all depends on how particular you are, in one operation the new single part body goes on. A remarkable innovation developed from the comparatively recent discovery of the values of resin bonded glass fiber. The new body is many times tougher than steel, doesn't rust or deteriorate, and of course doesn't have to be sprayed. By the time accessories have been added, the total cost of the transformation is less than 150 pounds, a mere one-fifth or one-sixth of the cost of a new model. This motoring enthusiast can designer Larry Falcon, who started this do-it-yourself idea. The performance of this little sports job is as good as she looks. Speeds well up in the 70s, depending of course on how much the engine's tuned up, and this at 50 miles to the gallon. Just think what this means. It means that in future you needn't be scared to let even your wife borrow your car. If she smashes it up, well, she can build you a new one.